Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Welcome to the Crazy Train. I'm your host, Rob Wade. With me from left to right is Sal Kraut. I don't want to say hello again. <laughs> Just the once would do. Yes, would you not? I'm Mary Ibrahim. Are you hurt, my lady? No, answered Matilda Thundernipples the third. But in truth, you're good slash her across the bumhole. <laughs> oh, what? Is this one that you're what would I say? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what did you say? <laughs> Spine direction. Come with me if you want to blow into a bottle of cider light. <laughs> <laughs> and by karma. Carry my, carry my, carry my, carry my crazy train. She is on the Carry my, 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 my crazy train, my, my crazy train. It's off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I love it. Uh, so how's everybody doing? Ooh, yeah. Mm, mm. yeah. <laughs> Good, cool. All right, well, that's got, this has been the crazy <laughs> See you next episode, guys. I've made a point of grudge won't say hi. <laughs> I've made a point of drinking all my drink before we record today so I don't spew it all over the floor. You're going to need to pee, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll do that all over the floor. These cats have been doing it anyway, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm Aaron Crouch. You've recently been on the Harry Potter tour. Yeah, yeah. We're not together. No, no, that would be kind of weird. <laughs> no, I t- well, you took you took mainly me because you'd be so yeah. I took, I took you with me, yeah, <laughs> in spirit. Yeah. I, um, but this thing, I, I agree with you that everybody takes the same pictures and sticks them on Facebook, and that's cool. Take the pictures of the castle and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's great, but like you don't need to see them all on Facebook because it's the same picture. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you took pictures of like the toilet and the floor, and at one point the picture was your hand holding a banister. <laughs> so I took a picture of my girlfriend's phone with the picture of you holding a banister. <laughs> Up against one of the walls in the Harry Potter <laughs> tour. Just to be like, pictures of pictures. Now we need someone Yo, to dog, take a like picture. Time. Yeah, we yeah. now need somebody to take a picture of my picture of a picture. Yeah. Or, yeah. no, you know how we really need to do it is Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> Selfie! <laughs> These guys are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear that they're going to be there doing signings, I'll totally like tweet one of them like, "Please take a picture of this picture when you're there." And, like, it just make my day. Let's see if I get it done. Let's see what happens. Just make like an infinite collage. Of it. We just, just need like, anybody that was in it. So if we found like an ex, you know, you get like those. Oh, I was a stormtrooper. Prove it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to get one of those guys that was like a background wizard or something see if we can get them to take a picture of themselves <laughs> sorry I just love the idea that in the credits there would just be background wizards <laughs> yeah. I want that on my theme <laughs> they, Steve McFly they have a distinct line they cannot cross <laughs> oh, you're on the foreground <laughs> fuck off <laughs> breach of contract <laughs> get out of here this is the mise en scene get out of <laughs> my, uh, my girlfriend got a, a recent like your friend request has been accepted she's like, fuck this it's from months ago and she's got the guy who hands the medals out in A New Hope <laughs> wow. 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 Nice. <laughs> nice. He's like, he still does signings. That just strikes me as a little bit sad. Yeah. That all these like people are going. Oh, I was a stormtrooper once, and I was like, well, one, for one, prove it. Yeah. Two, and that bit sad that they they can not only that they're hanging on to it, but they can actively make money. Oh yeah, so out right. of just being a nobody in a movie. Well, I mean, when um, oh, that, I hope you can that, then that, do that, it. That oh, of course. Yeah. The person whose autograph I want most is actually the guy who shakes his scythe at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to go, what was your part of the film? I was doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like, when, when me and Blake went to, um, what was it called? The MCM Comic Con thing. Oh, uh, L- London Film Comic Con. Thank you. Did I go there? I don't think so. No, no. that was Harry Potter. Yeah. You took pictures you of You went before. to with me. I went somewhere as well. <laughs> you've been, I'm sure you've been to lots of places. Fucking okay, no hell, In general. Yeah, you went to your game and I was behind you. <laughs> now, the whole time. kids, yeah. this is a lesson. Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the Harry Potter studio. Tour, uh, you know. Stay, off diabetes. Diabetes. stay off diet. Oh, oh man, <laughs> that spoon is stirring itself. Yes. Uh-huh. It's animatronics. It's fucking magic, man. <laughs> stay off diabetes, kids. <laughs> There's beer in my butter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking voodoo magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when we went to the the, uh, the Comic Con, there was loads of people like that. Exactly. You know, there were people who you would expect to see, like Natasha Henstreet from Species was there. Yeah. Oh, I and you meant just stoners. No, that's a, that's a, young man, this this is a stormtrooper. I was a stormtrooper in some. That guy's thing. slender, man. <laughs> Look how thin he is. I was an Ewok. No, I'm still <laughs> wicked. <laughs> that was scarily wicked, good. Wicked, man. So who are you? I was Luke Skywalker. But you're not Mark Camille. It was a weird time. <laughs> Mark Camille? <laughs> Mark Camille. <laughs> Mark Camille. <laughs> Black <laughs> honey. <laughs> I love you to do that. I want to poison the street. Oh. Are you Mark Hamill? No, no, no. I'm Mark 
Jackie Chan. Oh, that's okay. Oh my god, you're Jackie Chan. Don't worry, it happens all the time. Speaking of pronunciation, Darth Vador. I only just learned this the other day. It's Ginsters pasties. Oh, really? I was thought it was Ginsters. And then I saw an advert where it was Ginsters. And I was like, what? Really? GIF and GIF. I still call it GIF. Yeah, I say GIF. What's the other one? Meme. Meme, meme, meme. Oh, meme. Oh, meme. I think that was meme. It is, it is meme. meme. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you say you put it in a giffy bag. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put some giffy yes. on my uh, pancakes, please? Have you got the giff lemons? <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, a series actually, of the lemon being thrown to somebody and still They changed... <laughs> what one is it? Is it a sif? Sif. Jif. Yeah, jif to sif to a point of Yeah, because yeah. people yeah. kept yeah. putting fucking bleach on their pancakes, apparently. These pancakes aren't white enough. Actually, know the reason until now. Yeah, no, it's because just people were getting. I know it was. Oh, it's a branding thing. Well, it's no, it was it was because people get us confused. It was called Sif on the continent. Yeah, yeah. And of course, so, right. they, so it's called the same. It's thing like Walker's Lays, isn't it? And, and, um, and Starburst. Why? Big bag of fruits. Because yeah. yeah. at one point that was the only Lays I could fucking get. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, he had to travel to Europe. Exactly. <laughs> That's one. Way more, do. The, the crisps in the supermarkets in Europe will do way more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For less money. Yeah, it's too right. You buy them in bulk and stick them in my boot. <laughs> no. Oh, it's gone weird. Uh, Multi pack. Let's, let's, move, let's move on. <laughs> disclaimer uh, Rob does not take immigrants in the back of his car. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Can I open my minifigure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, so. I was going to ask about the Harry Potter tour, but okay. <laughs> but, um, we, we'll get around. It was Crouch, so magical Crouch, is the word. So yeah. either, either Crouch or Spike, one of you, had, uh, explain what's going on right now. Okay, I'll go for it. You, we went, we, we went on our Tesco's run. Okay. Crouch picked up. Other supermarkets are available. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. Keep, Whatever. Keep, Tesco's keep your world. Keep your white trows and your littles and send some Aldi up your ass. <laughs> I have like a dream that Tesco is, is going to end up like Wayland Yutani. They're going to have like a fucking army. You are. Yeah. You are. They're You're basically the worst on that way. Martin Luther King wannabe I've ever known. I, I have, have a dream, dream that one day <laughs> Tesco's will be like Wayland Yutani <laughs> from the Alien films. <laughs> Dream big, man. Dream big. <laughs> Not Wayland <laughs> Smithers. No, sure. Smithers. Smithers. Never getting you high again. <laughs> well, I was a stormtrooper. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, yes. sorry. Continue. We picked up blind bags of Lego minifigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what yeah, series the, are these from? The Lego movie series. <laughs> okay. So, they could cool. be any sort of crazy shit. If there are no legs in it, yeah, I, was gonna I know what you can do. <laughs> I was going to use my teeth, held it. Yeah, let's yeah, fucking yeah, break your face. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you want to make some more noise at the microphone, that'd be great. <laughs> that this would is be lovely, literally yeah. the hardest thing to open ever. I'm getting, I'm getting my. It's so that kids can't open. So it. Clearly, you've never Lego isn't for children. <laughs> clearly, you've never owned anything that should go in a vault. <laughs> ah, there we go. There I'm you in. go. I mean, Fine. usually keys don't work on vaults. I'll just do that. Unless they I think key you'll be away then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nope. Uh, wait, so on, try it. Try it. Well, how else do you get? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, he's ripped a Lego figure in half. Oh, oh you, you got the way. Where's, Where's my pants? Where's my pants? pants? <laughs> so Crouch's got a guy who's dishevelled and hasn't got his underwear. He's got Shocker. two sets. Of legs. He's, he's got, got two two sets of legs. That's amazing. Well, so you've got to put the naked ones on, and then yeah. the other set is his pants. Oh, because okay. he's lost his. He's like, where's my pants? So how does he up. hold his legs though? Um, I don't know. There's usually well, a well, big enough. I've got this is Lord Business. He's the bad guy. <laughs> that's an awesome bad Lord guy he's, he's, oh, it, it, this is in his guise as president business okay where he's the uh, he's like uh, like president the, 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 the idea is he's trying to stop everyone creating things by gluing the world together <laughs> with, okay. super, with super glue and the, the where's my pants guy just is the star of a sit has lost his pants like, he just hasn't got any pants yeah, yeah. look at him there you go. I love his <laughs> hair hey, yeah, yeah look at him cool. on radio. actually they both I love them I, I think we'll get, we should do we'll, get we'll some, take pictures uh, of these we'll get some photos of these and stick them up on the U14 they've yeah, both yeah. got pretty spectacular hair it has to be said yeah, that's, this, this hair is it's like, got hair like a Lego man it is like a square, square hair I suspect you like his hair most bear in mind they're trying to emulate it I still say we should do a like a 10 minute podcast where we've all spent like five six seven pounds on a load of blind bags of different things yeah, yeah. and starting up stupid kids toys because I love it yeah, I'm I really it. really I just love blind bags and things like that I think it's oh, yeah, fun. No, well, do you know what that's kind of what inspired us to yeah, yeah. opening blind bags on the radio it's such a good idea yeah. Yeah. Well, they can't see already <laughs> we're describing them in great detail I'll yeah. take a picture of that well, they lay them in they yellow <laughs> I, get, I get the same thing in video games when they've got the you know like the microtransactions but they're for packs of stuff that oh, you yeah, yeah totally Rise does that yeah Rise does it FIFA does it Mass Effect 
use My guys got You get battle packs in Battlefield as yeah, well. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah, and you're not even paying for those and they're blind and it's still like, oh, well, oh I've got a silencer for this gun. Yeah. I haven't even got that gun. Now I'm going to work to get that <laughs> yeah, gun. Yeah, yeah, sure. Enough that that added part of it. And also, that, you know, obviously we've talked about what the internet needs to get through its head. One of the big things is the word optional. Defi- you know, learn the definition yeah. of it. <laughs> if you don't want to buy the stuff, you don't have to. No. It's not. Maybe you won't get as good as stuff. That's there yeah, if you want to buy it. That reminds me about um, Dungeon Keeper. On, on oh, everyone losing their shit about yeah, Dungeon Keeper. Yeah, calm down. I love it. I, I, I really, really like it. I've not played it. No, it. it. Here's the two it's scenarios, scenario. right? So the, the internet has two options. Either a game like that comes out, they hate the idea and don't play it, and they don't get a Dungeon Keeper the way they wanted it. Yeah. Even though you can still buy Dungeon Keeper and Dungeon Keeper 2 on GOG and stuff like that anyway. Yeah, your old one doesn't which, explode. Which, yeah, which it's free. bloody free. Like, which yeah. is free <laughs> in the wake of the PR shitstorm. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly <laughs> sensible. Good business. Um, this, this the other option is EA don't make a game of Dungeon Keeper ever yeah, and you don't get yeah. one anyway so what, yeah. the f- what the fuck do you exactly care about? Yeah, yeah, I've always said the same this one is a really nice sort of restoration I, I never played the original so okay. it's, it's definitely it's made it more accessible to me because I've, I've looked at the uh, hmm. and I'm going to sound like like terribly stupid but the graphics have just really put me off okay um, the old style the, graphics the old, the old style graphics um, they can the, be the, things can the things, things some things can date really well I don't think Dungeon Keeper one did. I agree. Yeah, I would. I would agree. There. It, it hasn't. And no. Replaying it is not. It's the thing not, is, no. the thing that people got to sort of get, come to terms with is it's that game is designed for playing when you get up and when you go to bed. Yeah, it's not designed. If you're, for long sit, if you're sitting there waiting for the game to, do, <coughs> oh, you know, oh, I want this bl- this brick to knock out faster so I can carry on playing for the rest of the day. You have no life. Yeah, and yeah. frankly. And the thing you know, is, your, I know your opinion feels like it's worth more because you're on the internet, but actually it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your opinion is worth just as much as anybody else's. The only difference is that a lot of other people are a bit more informed because they've taken the time to research things. Yes, yeah. at least there is the option of buying speed ups. Right? Yeah. So, okay, so is it like kind of like the Simpsons tapped out? And yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Time quest. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Because it's a game that uh, people know previously. Death. It's like. Yeah. They're, they're flipping their flipping their lid because it's like but like I say if, if they up. if they had got the, they wouldn't have got their way because EA aren't going to go out and release a new Dungeon Keeper game for these entitled because no one will buy it because no one will buy it everybody will go oh but EA is literally Hitler and yeah. St- yeah, it is not on fine. Steam and it is not by Gabe so I will no, not nobody vote no, no, that is why no. there's a PR that's why there's a PR shitstorm because nobody likes EA on yeah. the internet but this, the, the thing like I, I can't recall an EA published game that I didn't enjoy it's that whole internet thing of let's pick. It's like I've always used the example of Nickelback. Okay. Right. Ah. Everybody, everybody. No, no. Everybody <laughs> hates Nickelback, and I don't think they're too great. I used to like them, but now they they're, they're successful. So what? Fine. You can bitch about more you like, and that's fine. Do that. I'm not stopping anybody. Yeah. They're but, making money. But they're making money. They don't care what you say. And it's the same with EA. EA are doing really well for themselves. People are going to bitch about them, and so what? That's yeah. not going to change. They're the biggest. Games I think or? them and Activision are just ridiculously yeah. massive. This is the thing. Like, Activision every, only make one game. Every now. year, <laughs> there's a shitstorm about Call of Duty because the new Call of Duty game comes out. Loads of people buy it, and everybody goes, "Oh, I can't believe people are buying it. Why is it selling so well?" Because not everything's made for you, and no. that's okay. Like, it's I don't. It's the same game every year. Mm. Yeah, but that's what my gripe is. Well, but at the same time, like, I also, thought Ghost was really, really bloody good. Yeah, but people don't want it to change. Because the casual audience that are buying that game don't want revolutionary new controls that they can't be the best at. Yeah. They want to play the same game, maybe with some they different... They want stuff levels. that's familiar. Yes, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, no, I just think it needs a bit of an overhaul after, so after and I five think, years of it. And I, got, and I read something recently that suggested they're going to do that, so... Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think that's... Like, Assassin's Creed. I, 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 I agree with you. I think it needs an overhaul. I'm liking the new oh, Assassin's Black Creed. Black Flag is, is amazing. Because mm-hmm. of the open world element. Yeah. Yeah. If that yeah. open world element wasn't in it, I would, I would have been really slagging it off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The amount of money Call of Duty makes, I'd say actually they, if they're going to completely change it up, they'll probably alienate some of their more casual fans, yeah, but absolutely. gain others. So, like, I mean, I'm not trying to say I can do anything better than them because I'm not a millionaire and they are, but certainly I've developed two games, one that went with the traditional route and maybe gave me a new maps and guns, mm-hmm. and one that revolutionised well, it. Maybe, yeah. um, there are, I can't think of any top money, but there are games that have been rapidly different to the way that, well, that genre has always been played, and it's changed the genre forever. Or, but look at wrestling games. They haven't changed barely. It used to be more like... If you look at like the old N64 PlayStation days with like great Attitude games. and Warzone, yeah, great where it was like a uh, button combo, it was, it was like, okay. Hit AXBB to yeah. hit to a suplex. Now it's uh, you know more of an intuitive sort of grappling method. Yeah. But like that beat them up method, you know, like the Street Fighter style, hit this combo to hit this move, was popular for so long. Mm. And wrestling games were going that way until I think it was 
No Mer- like the um the, the THQ. It ones. was SmackDown and No Mercy. Yeah, yeah. They started change. Uh, no, uh, uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania not, not, yeah. yeah, they changed the way that rest- wrestling games gay, and now they're kind of always staying like that. There's, there's been a bit of difference. Things like Legends of Wrestling changed mm-hmm. it, and the newer games are slightly different. But it's always been that press this button to enter this mode and use this move. But there's thing. a perfect example. Legends of Wrestling was separate from the main track and did all right. And, yes, and it got its audience. Sequ- and it got a sequel. Yes. Because it was sold reasonably well. And Call of Duty could totally do that, but I think they'd need to rebrand it as something well, completely different. Uh, WWE did it themselves, so it's not even oh, just yeah, wrestling all games. Stars. All yeah. Stars. Yeah. All Stars is fantastic where you know, throw a guy 40 foot in the air and boot him into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it really is, it really is exactly like that. Know, like, yeah. Instead of doing a backflip, you can do 20 backflips with a corkscrew landing on your head. Yeah. Like, and, and you'll survive yeah, it. Your pile, pile driver starts you off from the rafters. Yeah, it? no, it's not even, it's not even much of an exaggeration. It's the old, it's the old <laughs> but, and a, a load of kids bought that, and I've got it, and I think it's really, really good fun, but a lot of people liked the new uh, newer wrestling games that are straighter again. Yeah. Uh, and so they went in both ways. I don't know why they didn't make an All Stars too, actually, because it did do fantastically. Yeah. And I think with the new roster, there could be a lot of uh, a lot of cool guys there. Yeah, quite possibly. Um, I mean, maybe it's because they're into, integrating the the, uh, the legends into the new one more, like that's Osmo, true. Warrior yeah. and things like that um, to bring back the older fans. They yeah. might be yeah. a, if he has insane. <laughs> yep. Oh, almost certainly. Oh hell yeah! I think oh. there's a um, mode where you can text in, like you can just enter text in to just blank doesn't make the world work. And querying is the default option. But, yeah, uh, yeah. There's probably no, a he's, faggot tree. He's, he's well. hard as now. He's one of the hardest characters in the newest yeah. game. So like, oh, yeah, really? they've made him yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Going back to Call of Duty, yeah, um, I think Battlefield is is more the side sort of thing that everyone goes for. Yeah. They're tired of the arcadey casual. Uh, stuff that Twi- Call of Duty Twi- Twitch shooters they're called yeah. yeah then they go to Battlefield yeah, yeah. I, agree I, I was liking Battlefield because it feels like they're evolving their game more than Call of Duty yeah. 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 this is the first one I've played in a very long time but it certainly feels like that I yeah. think but once again like, that's why I find it more with it until they start seeing a, a tank in sales they won't change the formula because why fix what isn't broken yeah yeah well they don't put sales on a tank sorry they don't put sales on a tank oh right not a tank no they have been They've announced that it is dropping because it is, they're like compared to Black Ops Two, it's like sold seventy percent of it. Yeah, yeah, but like, showing well, going down. Black people Ops are going to start going. I don't just want new levels. Well, yeah. And I've got the old, It's not. I want. It's not. I don't want something new. It's. I like this. Why would I stop playing it? Yeah. But the casual audience are going to go. I, I like this one. I don't need a new toaster because my yeah, old toaster works. Because fucking you and toaster. I know. <laughs> <laughs> toaster aficionado home. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't really get a cymbal noise on the no. end, does it? No, no, no. no you and your been waiting shot. to do like a drum. You and your fucking room shots. <laughs> um, yeah, but then for some, for those people who buy like Call of Duty and that's their game every year, it's almost like they're World of Warcraft. It's, yeah, you know, totally. They yeah. buy their game, they buy the expansions for it, and that's all they play. It's like buying a new car or a new. It's their thing they buy yeah. that they replace when they need a new one. Yeah, but they don't necessarily buy. It. Yeah, some. I, I guess there might be two audiences in that case yeah. as well as the hardcore gamers. Mm-hmm. They buy a new one every year. But there's also the people who buy it like a car. They buy it when they're fed up with their old one. Yeah. So they might only buy it every three years. Yeah, see, my thing is like... And I'll, we, I think we should move on after this point because mm. we've done 20 minutes about games before we record. <laughs> um, but my feeling is that like I don't play Call of Duty primarily, but sometimes that's what I'm in the mood for. So I have no problem with those games existing. But I'm also not going to pick them up on the first day of release at full price because no. I'm only going to play the campaign and trade it straight back in. Yeah, so. the only reason I bought that at that price is because there weren't many games out. Yeah, yeah. I bought and it. I, wanted, I got twenty quid in my Xbox One. Oh, that's, uh, I, would, it I would have loved to have played that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, what, that's how I feel about. I play well, Tetris um, on my Game Boy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, but the thing, sorry it's, just, it's a great game. I have nothing to offer this conversation. <laughs> Apart from no, interruption, I have a side. <laughs> For sake, Blake. Sorry, I've, I've, I've got a Super <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> That's cool, though. I'm sorry. Like, sorry. You yeah, know, you we have a phone. You're I have no idea what you're talking actually, about. That is actually a really good example. What? You're perfectly happy with an older console because I it's am. still as much fun to you yeah. as it ever was. Is so, that the same as people? Starwing. Yeah, oh, Star Wars amazing. Wait, what? Um, is Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Uh, it's the same as a fun aside. <laughs> first game I ever completed in my life. Really? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Uh, first game on the N sixty four I completed was nice. Light That Wars. Yes, yes. I really my, my my girlfriend's got a three DS. Okay. Um, oh. and the only game I want is Star Fox. The Star Fox, which yes. is basically Light That Wars updated. Yes, it. it is. Yeah, but it just it's just. The thing is, I beat the game in nineteen ninety seven. Okay. I played every part of it and I loved it. I don't want to pay 30 quid for it now. Yeah, I, right. Ideally, I want to pay 10, 15 pounds and enjoy it and then put it down again. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it'll be a nostalgia hit for me. Like, do, I don't we want to pay. Have, do we have N64 games? Or um, yeah, you can I buy N64 do, yeah, stuff on the virtual console, yeah. Oh, yeah. Karina of Time and stuff. Yes. 
See, they are gone the back way and bought an N64 and bought old games to thug and black. That's cool, though, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually in the process of tracking down the cheap GameCube because I've found a uh, wallet full of discs the other day and it's like games I actually really enjoyed. Yeah, okay. See, I'm terrible. Oh, I've well, just played on the Wii. Well, no, I've got a Wii U now, so... Oh, I, right, right. I traded in my Wii towards my Wii U because there was some promo on. And uh, mm-hmm. I love my Wii U and I play Wii games on it it's as cool. well. But yeah, it would quite. It would be quite handy to have a GameCube because of those games. Does it not go all the way back to like GameCube as well? Can no. you play? You can play, so you can play GameCube on a Wii and then yeah, Wii on a Wii U and a Wii on a Wii U, but you can't go back to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is cool. still more backwards compatible than the other two at the moment. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Apart from that brilliant thing that was going around just after the Xbox One and people, where it was like, due to a coding error, you can back play, and it basically would have just reformatted your yeah, Xbox. Yeah, it turned out to be. A if problem. you do this, do oh, this, yeah. do this, and if you do this and this, you can actually also play PS4 games, oh, just, uh, <laughs> and people were doing it and just. Fucking up their consoles. Into the developer options. Into their yeah, 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 they yeah, would right. basically. It would be like deleting System Thirty Four on your PC. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thirty Two. Sorry, yeah. We, we it, was, yeah. it was essentially we, we, doing we, we, that to the Xbox. <laughs> system Thirty Four is just like, oh fuck, the System Thirty Two is too fucking mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a new folder called System Thirty Four. Delete that. You have to yeah. fuck your computer system. <laughs> <laughs> if your computer's got a motherboard, there's porn of it. <laughs> 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 fuck your motherboard. But yeah, like the same. Like playing an old console is exactly the same as the guys who don't bother buying the new. Call of Duty because they're happy with the old one. Yeah. Like, I, I'll play an older game or like a, a port of something on my phone and go, oh, I really like this, this is still fun. Well, I so don't need the like, newest one. You can, can you still buy Theme Hospital new in game? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that, makes, makes, me, that yeah. makes me incredibly happy. Plus, yeah. you can, um, you can <laughs> get it on, good, on goodoldgames.com, I think, as well. Yeah. Other game distribution services are available, but they don't have Theme Hospital. <laughs> you know what are the, best, the best old get- good PC games. Did anyone ever play Total Annihilation? I fucking loved that game so much. Nothing beats that. Oh, it was really. amazing. I've not even seen it. You can pick it up on eBay for like 99p if you want. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, I love that game. That was the first sort of clicking command game I played. I loved it. There's no better one. Did you play Kingdoms? No, I never did. It was poo. Yeah. Why would I want to play something that had the same name but was none of the good bits? It was just like. I want robots and oh, it was awesome. I want no. It was so accessible and simple. It was like build this, upgrade it, and you can build this. There was no like mm. like really complex bits you get. It was basically It was simple, yeah. yeah you favorite, had missions and that I, it was I remember my favourite my favourite PC game growing up was um, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Oh, okay. So it's basically <laughs> Civ, but on, in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I used to be able to, when you, re- when you researched the new tech, you could build your own units and you could customise every single bit of them. So if it was a combat unit, you could change the gun for a different one, you could oh, change okay. the armour chassis, so you could make it lower, you know, you could make one that was lower cost, you could prototype a new one that was faster cool. and that sort of thing. Mm. And it just, yeah. it had the perfect amount of choice in terms of how much how deep you went with it so like yeah, you, could, yeah. you could either just go yeah fine that default one's fine like um sorry to bring out a football manager but uh yeah you, could, you can go in and you can micromanage every little bit of it yep but you can also just be like click 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 pick my squads play the yep. play the match i had a i had a gladiator can you change, one can you change their feet on uh can you change their feet on football on, manager yeah so they no. keep the ball better. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I found this to my fucking cost last night playing fifa i was on my uh, xbox live with my friend dan and just chatting away and just catching up. And I was playing FIFA and I noticed that every single one of my team passed like fucking puddings. <laughs> but at the same time I was playing at Aston Villa, so it was kind of realistic. That's been the coolest since you got your, your Xbox One, you we were met like it was it was really weird because I messaged you from my iPhone yep. through my Xbox. I'm guessing you picked it up on your Xbox. I picked one. up on my phone. Oh, see that's see there we go. That's an iPhone sending a message to an Xbox One to send a message to an Xbox One to send a message to a Windows phone. Yeah, yeah. But then blew my fucking mind when you don't answer It me. happened the other night as well. I was writing with, um, with Brad. We were writing mm. a, a Dick SDM. And I was on Skype using it because obviously there's no more MSN. It's all no, it's Skype, Skype yeah. which is fine. Um, yeah, it's a great system. I was getting three sets of notifications on my computer, <laughs> yeah. on my phone, and on my Xbox One. I do that, yeah. <laughs> it's all installed. I do that sitting at work. I have it on, my Facebook goes off. Yeah. It, my, my computer will go, bloop, and it's always this way. It's computer, bloop, tablet, bloop, I, uh, iPhone, bloop. What the hell's wrong with your computer device? I, I've, got, <laughs> I've got, uh... They've all got fucking radar. <laughs> I've got the uh, Mac 3 internal <laughs> turkey <laughs> processor. <laughs> I've got a Bernard Matthews quad core. I've got a Bernard Matthews. Oh. Oh. Do you know? It's fine, but it doesn't no make any fun. better pun than that. Yes. <laughs> no, is it? Oh, somebody told me yesterday. Something like the term "no pun intended" or something like that. Yeah. Is pun is a play on the words "intended" somehow? So the, the word "pun" and "pun intended" is a pun in itself. Okay. Like, I can't. I'll, I'll have to work that out, and we'll add a note to the show or something. I say but, that. It was yeah. something about no pun intended. We'll, do, like... we'll do it Dr. Dre style and cover it on the next episode. Yeah, there we yeah. go. <laughs> Boom. What? 
Nice. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the bag. The best old game I ever played. You probably haven't heard of it. Yeah. Uh, it's a thing called Lero. It was like a freeware thing. That no, I've heard of it. Now, Lero, I like the no. way you said it with a kind of, Lero. you probably haven't heard of it. It's, no, a, no, no, it's, 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 it's a game it's that a nobody's... Game. Like, I've no, honestly, because I, I, <laughs> we the found thing. it by chance. It was, yeah. I was at school we had when we were sort of uh, we'd sit on play about on the computers on the school mm-hmm. network at lunchtime. Yeah. One one of us stumbled across this game Lero, a freeware thing they could just download and what it was is it's basically the same as Worms but in real time, not turn based. Oh wow, okay. And you could play multiplayer deathmatch. Holy over fuck, a I think I know the one you mean. And we played it over the school like for about a glorious fortnight. Yeah. We played it every lunchtime over the school network. But they like, like twenty, thirty guys like people, all across they? the school. And now there were little, like, there were worms. Okay. But then there was many other characters you could choose, and we could get it, because it was such a simple game, you could open up the system files, and the, literally the character was just a bitmap. Yeah. So you could make a new one. So I made my, myself a little, like, 16 bit <laughs> pixel art Master Chief to be my character. Nice. And, um, like, my, my mate did, like, an anime guy from Cowboy Bebop or something. Okay. And, um, but it was just the most insane thing. I mean, you know what worms is like? But imagine that everyone's taking their turn at once. Yeah. Just chaos. And <laughs> it was like that game you were playing earlier. Every time someone died, they exploded in a shower of like red pixels. Oh, that's Which so then laid on, a, on like a great carpet along the bottom of the level. So if you were playing for a long time, there was just blood everywhere. Every time there was an explosion, all this blood would just go, just fly everywhere. So for context, that was Resogun on PS4. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was where all the pixels fly down. Yes. I've just found a pun thing I was on about. Sorry. <laughs> sorry if you're going on, no. Um, no, the, the term... No pun intended yep. is a pun on the word unintended. Ah. So the word pun oh. was not a word until the phrase no pun intended came about. Okay. So it was basically I unintended that nope, joke. Unintended. Yeah. Uh. So I, I huh. yeah, no pun intended is nope. no intended, basically. So oh. pun no pun intended is a pun. Um, there cool. you go. Words, words, words. <laughs> Things. Um, Next that, week, what? onomatopoeia. <laughs> <laughs> words that sound like what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> I was going. Actually, I was talking with somebody about that words that words and phrases. Uh, my mum was like, if I would wake up in the morning after a late night or something, and you know, like dressing gown, hair sticking out, like blurry eyed, she'd always go, "Look at oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, we've got to talk about me being the new trash wizard." Yes. Oh, but stuff. she'd always go, "I've lost the arc at, arc at that and the price of beef." Yeah. Like, like what the so my, but my mum would never say arc at that to mean look at it mm-hmm. but she always go arc at that and the price of beef and to the point where it becomes like arc at that one right. word and it just it, to me it was arc at that arc at that yeah birdie bird arc at that bird at a bird wicked so you just brought it up actually right. how did you become the trash because I remember now that when we were in the room on episodes 19 to 20 um, we talked about it and never got around to it. Yeah, 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 okay. Go for it. So, uh, I, my, to get into my flat, I have to go down an alleyway behind my shop. Right. And there was a, an Aldi shopping trolley. Other unintentionally placed trolleys are available, but not, <laughs> but not in the alley behind Stick that Waitrose trolley up your ass, man. <laughs> With ways. Um, yeah, so I'm, I was like, spending a couple of days, like, especially in the dark, you can't see it, and that alley is pitch black. Mm. I've kind of like, oh, fuck, there it is, like, moving. So yeah. I was like, I'll tell you what, I'm going to stick this in my garden. And then I'll like ring all these and get them to pick it up because at the other end of the, I mean I could walk it there but I'm not, I'm not going to walk. I'm, no, no, I'm not going to. There was no. <laughs> I'd have done it myself. If it was a <laughs> what? I love the idea that all these have got somebody on standby to come and pick up wayward trolleys. Well, they do. They do. Yeah. They do. Well, yeah. Not, yeah. I don't know. Yes, if you were to meet the Tesco supermarket, do they really? Yeah. Oh, I've got a trolley here. Trolley recovery piece. Yeah. You used to get a reward. Yeah, you used to get a reward. You used to get a reward for taking it back yourself. It was like a pound. But then like so many people were stealing. your pound back. Well, yeah, no, but it was when the trolleys were free. Some yeah. people were just taking the trolley home and taking it back the next day. For, oh, I've got your trolley here. People were actually just going to the car park, taking a trolley, going and going, found this in my alleyway, and they'd get a pound. <laughs> so they cancelled the scene, like cancelled yeah, the yeah. last night. I wonder if that's why they started building in those mechanisms that sort of restrict it when it moves yeah. outside a certain area. Yeah, 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 I yeah. wonder. Like, anyway, work. some of those do. Never yeah, yeah my, the, ones, the ones on the Old Sheppy uh, roll, there's like, a, like two magnets either side of the wheel, and as you go over the stand, they... They yeah. roll under and actually lock, so you can still push it, um, but it's like pushing a trolley with no wheels. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, I found but, but of course, on the Isle of, Isle of Sheppey, there's a very real chance that you couldn't get it any further than, say, the Isle of Sheppey. <laughs> 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 you can just, yeah, you know, most wrong moves will send you into the into the river. <laughs> so, 
put this trolley in the in the garden just to get it out of the way for a minute. Yeah. Um, and then rang all these the next day. I was like, oh yeah, I've got a trolley here. Do you want to send somebody to come and get it? Oh, show like, off. We've got fucking thousands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would you... Sorry. Why would you think we would be remotely interested in your one trolley? Yeah. You go, that was one of yours. So, the, oh! Almost exactly oh. what they yeah. said to me. They yeah. said... Well, no, we've got plenty, but if you want to bring it up, we'd appreciate it. I was like, I'm not walking. It's not far. It's not even a quarter of a mile. Okay. But I'm not walking with this trolley through the high street being that guy. Kind of. You should bring up Wayne and Yutani and see if they want it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, stuck in Dream the garden. Crowd. Dream big crowd. It's good at our supermarket this, business in the off. Yeah. <laughs> this was a Saturday night, a Saturday that I rang them. And then Sunday night onto Monday morning is my bin day. Right, and I don't have a wheelie bin because I set up a new flat and the council wanted a horrendous amount of money. It was like £120 per wheelie bin. Jesus. Like, I know that obviously includes your collection, but I can just put black bags out and they'll take them. Yeah. Right. So I was like, no, I'm not paying for that. Anyway, I, I had, it was a, I think it was just past Christmas. So I had a lot of like old wrapping paper and excess food that hadn't been eaten. So it was I had loads and loads of black bags. Right. Um, and I, I kind of lugged them out into the garden. Oh, it's going to be about seven, eight trips. It was raining. I was like, I looked at the trolley and I'm like, I won. I won. So I put a bell. <laughs> These wheels make it go forward. <laughs> they <There's>, do. <laughs> there's me. Right? And I'll explain this as the way, actually, I think it was you that pointed it out. But I'll, I'll explain. So I put these six bin bags in the trolley, right? And there I am. And it's it's a Sunday night. I'm, you know, I'm in probably like sweatpants and a, an old t-shirt. Right? <laughs> walking <laughs> down this. Walking, yeah, no, right. This is the bit. Walking down this alleyway. Probably, you know, hair's blowing in the wind or whatever. So there I am, a guy in just like old clothing. <laughs> <laughs> L'Oreal, because bro, 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 bro. <laughs> walking down this dark alleyway with a load of bin bags in a trolley. <laughs> And when I explained it, I think it was you that said it. When I said that to you, I was like, but don't worry, it would have been about one o'clock in the morning. And then you just went, yeah, because that would make it look less crazy. <laughs> Not only is there a man pushing bin bags around in a trolley, he's doing it at one o'clock in the morning. Oh, I just imagined it as like an 80s dance number. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fight this feeling. You can trash if you want to. With the light and the wind blowing your face. You can trash if you want to. upon the time I was falling in love. You can, <laughs> now I'm only pushing. In the car, <laughs> <laughs> you can leave your bins behind. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm the new trash wizard. <laughs> Except it's actual I, trash. I dub the, <laughs> yeah, so the trash, new trash wizard. So Traticus Minimus. <laughs> I've still got it. <laughs> nice. Um, it came in really handy because I needed to get something out of my car. Speaking of the trash wizard, um, he opened his curtains the other day for the first time in a while. Are you camping? Oh, like, no. <laughs> uh, we've, we've Is that an innuendo? This, we've covered this before, so I walked past his uh, place of residence on my way to work. Oh, I'm yeah. loath to call it a shop because I'm still not sure it's sold a thing. It's horrible. <laughs> but... Um, it is Kevin Nash. His lair. <laughs> yes, the den of the trap wizards. But um, I was walking past it the other day, and if I didn't know better, and I'm still not 100% sure, I'd swear he was a serial killer. Well, and, really. And only if we've been shocked to this stage. He seems to have, only in for jazz musicians, because it's all, <laughs> the entire walls, all the walls, are, what I can see at a glance, are all like, decorated with like uh, musical stage uh, paper, like uh, yeah. Mus- notation notation yeah I can't remember what the proper word for it is but uh, uh, yeah but staves and quavers staves and quavers and, and yeah what's it he's got quavers all over the wall <laughs> monster much monster much there are Mind other crystals are, yeah. are available but they're not all musical <laughs> Yeah, the industrial phones you just sell a tape to the wall. <laughs> Sewing together a CB couple of... CB radio just goes, I'm a wall! Over and over again. Rob goes in, got any lays? No, me either. <laughs> That's, you know, we're living in the past much, but... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Me, from Captain the, from the Mr. Past. Mr. From the Past. <laughs> I don't like change. I just well, it's because terrible with ter- <laughs> where does that? Where did that come from? Uh, uh, it was it was a terrible with money that supposedly I'm terrible with money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and terrible with Raptors was the eBay auction for the Raptor case yes. that was actually used in Jurassic Park, and also they had the uh, the big two piece truck that they used in the Lost World. And, then, and uh, I was like, I really want that, and you were like, Yeah, but it's because you're terrible with Raptors. <laughs> um, and it's just gone from there. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. The point where now I just randomly just shout the word Raptors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be honest, Facebook needs more of anyone. Yeah. The evolution of a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Everything needs more Raptors. <laughs> Yeah. But ironically, not the evolution of dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, but you're a creationist, Blake. So. <laughs> yeah, they don't fucking exist. They were to test your faith and nothing more. I did a... Yeah, all of Jurassic Park is a lie. 
what? Is what? That, what? Do you think it's real? We think it's real. Really? Sorry, was there a conjecture that it was a fucking documentary at some point then? I hope it was. I someone that thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we have to bring out for a minute. She also watched ET and thought that they were gonna, like someone was going to take her in the middle of the night, so she tied herself to her bed. Who was this person? Uh, someone I went to school with. Uh, there was a girl who used to work. I don't think we uh, could name her just in case for you know libel reasons. <laughs> there was a girl who used play to play safe. <laughs> Madeline. Yeah. Catherine. <laughs> the Raptors did come for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that explained. That's that mystery solved. She wasn't a clever girl. Um, no. <laughs> they did shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did, I, did, I did a clever girl the other day when I was funny enough in the alleyway behind the flat, and I could see. Which has now become his performing ground. <laughs> middle, of, middle of the day, there's a there's a cat sitting What's on the fence. That's my motivation. Hang on, I'm just a bumbling drunken idiot walking down to Elby. And see, how often did it cost me? Five, you think? There was a, a cat sitting on the fence, but kind of peering round the shed. Okay. Me and my girlfriend are going out for the day, and I've just gone. We're being hunted. What? <laughs> From the fence right ahead. What are you? What are you on about? I've gone. Oh, wow. It's okay. Run. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? It's okay. I've got her. Run. <laughs> and she's like, "What's going on?" And she spotted the cat and gone. You are pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> By this point, I'm pretending to unload a run <laughs> <laughs> to take out the run. Wait, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> oh wait, no, you're a cat. <laughs> the best thing would be if the cat knew its part and at that point pounced. <laughs> no, 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 one, from, one from the left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a second cat. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> so yeah, like with the cats, it, it just I love to say that they're just hunting in packs. <laughs> yeah. The Isle of Shepherds is just wayward bands of cats. That's a beautiful meow. image. Meow. No thumbs. I now yeah. want to see the musical of Jurassic Park but with cats. They've got they've got lackeys. Also known as owners. <laughs> yeah. oh, not coming up holding the paw. Out no, they, they just click behind them. Like. <laughs> no, there's two cats. They use each other's paws. To, like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. We were going to go rumble with those greasy manxes. If, <laughs> if they're like the raptors, shouldn't they just be like ha- like walking along with their claws, just like <laughs> yeah. picking? Yeah. <laughs> I love that bit in the movie where he explains. They've got a sharp claw on the middle toe, and then I've seen an edit where it cuts to the raptor's foot, and it's not the middle. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Expert! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> yeah. Sam Neil's too busy. I put this PowerPoint together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put this PowerPoint together in forty minutes, guys. Come on, give me a break. It's like the um, <laughs> too busy shooting the ground. <laughs> and well, he's well, right. and he has no eyes. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <laughs> raptors weren't that big either. Take your no, eye. raptors were rat-sized chickens. Ra- raptors yeah. had feathers. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah. We, we discussed this on the first episode of the show. I think, I think. The, yeah. the, the, that animal is a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. 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 Or, uh, or a, a new pack of raptors. The fat kid was quite right in saying it was like a giant turkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. it really was. It was pretty it really much. It may have even been a nod to the truth. I mean, we only really found out about the feathers recently, but yeah. there was, I mean, it's like that picture, there's a brilliant caption, it's got, it's got a picture of the credits of Jurassic Park, and it says, Dinosaur Supervisor, it's got his name, the caption just, you had one job! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea that, assistant to Mr. Raptor. <laughs> best, giant giant turkey. Turkey. best feed. <laughs> just giant turkeys. A gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> well, that's what they think now, is that the T-Rex, as well as being covered in feathers, didn't roar. Okay. It reckon it made bird style screeching noises, the which is not. Covered in feathers as well. Yeah, most dinosaurs yeah, were covered in feathers. You never watched any glam rock. I know. <laughs> I thought it was. No, no, most, of, most of them, by the time that the Velociraptor and the uh, T Rex were the most highly evolved of the dinosaurs, yeah, so, like, 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 they would have been covered in feathers. <laughs> um, so, chocobos are real. Pun? Chocobos are real. Yeah. yeah. I'm just uh, a creationist race. <laughs> nice. Yeah. If people still yeah, people, people now, I know people because I'm a dinosaur nut, and I know that people are like, "Oh, well, Jurassic Park was wrong." It's like, no, for one, that's all they knew then. Yeah. Two, I don't really want to watch a movie with giant, fluffy, feathery dinosaurs. I also don't want to watch a movie where they go completely scientifically accurate, and it can't happen anyway because DNA is a fucking half. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned that as well, didn't so we? Yeah, it would be like you yeah. know them saying, "Oh, you know." 
we've preserved this dinosaur and somebody just goes, stands up and goes no it couldn't happen and they're just like alright we'll shut it all down yeah. <laughs> it's like um, actually <laughs> in... <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> we are so sorry <laughs> if you paid full price for this show <laughs> it's like um, I heard somebody talking about the in the remake of Clash of the Titans they were yeah. like if the scorpions actually grew to that size they wouldn't be able to process enough oxygen also skeleton, fucking scorpions can't get to that size yeah, yeah. so what are you complaining about <laughs> also- also, yeah. Medusa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, blood Medusa. <laughs> I think I've mentioned the the Pegasus Medusa link. No. And what I, I, it basically in mythology, Pegasus is Medusa's son. Okay. Oh. And so I love that bit when Perseus in the story, of course. Perseus goes and kills Medusa, and then he's picked up by Pegasus. I just wanted to be like, hey, what's in the bag? Oh, it's definitely not your mum's head. <laughs> <laughs> How, how's your mum? Oh, she's doing well. She's, uh, she's really getting ahead she's of herself. Good, um, she, she sends her love, but says she might have to go away. <laughs> <laughs> just don't look in the bag. Why? It turns things to stone. That's weird. My mum does that. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Anyway. <laughs> She taught, she taught this rock how. <laughs> she wouldn't have been able to look at her son at all. No. no, no. no. She'd give birth to it and just be like, oh, uh, take it away. Take it away. Yeah, yeah she didn't realise she'd given birth to a flying horse. That so might be the problem. Say, yeah, so here's a question in 2014. Why does Pegasus not have massive abandonment issues? Because <laughs> he's a horse. Because... <laughs> yeah, why did Medusa never turn herself to stone? Why in the mirror? Yeah. Well, that's how he defeated oh, her. Yeah, well, no, I mean, but every like, no, 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 he, he never looked where you cleaning. Well, 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 like, this is why you don't see Medusa as the figurehead of any sort of major cosmetics label. <laughs> you know, the Max Factor is just not <laughs> real <laughs> because maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's born with it. Maybe she was raped by Zeus. <laughs> Is that mythology? That's part of it. Is okay, that true? Stop, yeah. stop okay. me. Me, uh, Zeus, Zeus, I think it's Zeus had sex with her, and Zeus's wife got. Jealous, so she turned her into what we know. Okay. Isn't that like the basis so, of every myth? Yeah, Zeus, 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 Zeus fucks fucks something. Something. Yeah. yeah, there is there is a a, yeah. a, a university Zeus paper. Zeus something. Thus, Area Fifty One. There's a university <laughs> paper on Greek mythology, simply titled "Zeus can't keep it in his pants." <laughs> <laughs> it's a scientific, a serious, not scientific study, but a, yeah, you know, a literature a literature study called "Zeus can't keep it in his pants." Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Uh, there's the also pump Zeus can't keep it in his pants. terrifying. There's also a book called uh, <laughs> "Zeus grants stupid wishes." Nice. And it's like a, a whimsical take it on sounds the like legends. Yeah. How is it not a Tumblr? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zeus got stupidwishes.tumblr.com. I want to be made of trees as a gif file. <laughs> right, fine, done, it's, it's a, it's a like, not, not a series, but it's, it's, a, it's a look into all the mythological stories Egyptian, Roman, Greek, Viking, all that. But it's just like, and then Odin like, turned himself into an eagle or some shit and he flapped about and things fell off. And that's actually how all the legends are told. It's hilarious. It's a really good book. <laughs> Um, well, other <laughs> other books where they portray mythology stupidly is, are available. Yeah, but like not in Wally. Tesco. I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> not but, in Well and Utani. And none no. of them. Can, none <laughs> this of them isn't just eat. a xenomorph. This is a Well and Utani xenomorph. <laughs> <laughs> Try one of these new Well and Utani microwave meals. <laughs> <laughs> They'll hug your face off. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that you, when you stab the plastic, it just jumps out. <laughs> 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 Get out of my belly! There's more chicken in this one. <laughs> that moment, that moment when something tastes worse on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> bit, a bit of a ring sting. Uh, <laughs> all that acid. Uh, of course, we have to use the microphone because in space nobody can hear you sting. So. Oh. <laughs> no pun intended. Apparently, <laughs> no pun intended. No, no, definitely, no, no, definitely no, intended. No, definitely intended. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> nope, unintended. <laughs> yeah, that might, might be it. Yes. Yes. No, no, unintended. Yes, yeah. something like that. Nope, yeah. nope, <laughs> unintended. And then misheard as no pun, no pun intended. What's, what's pun mean? It's like, oh well, why not? Just make. It yeah, happen. exactly. Yeah. It's that. Same as well, uh, it's um, that thing that just happened. <laughs> phrase you, Gordon Bennett. I don't. You know, you know how the word quiz was invented. Nope. Like some guy, this is in like Victorian London. Or no, no, is it a quiz? <laughs> no, uh, this guy. <laughs> was, how was the word quiz invented? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Quizception? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, I hear you like quizzes. I get it. Quizception. <laughs> quiz yeah, what's that got to do with anything? Well, you're quizzing us on someone the Someone says something and then someone goes. Something exception. Well, That's quiz, like a meme that needs to die. You're quizzing, us, you're quizzing us on the definition of quiz. I, well, I'm, not, I'm telling Indirect. you. And now you're quizzing him on I'm, the. Now you're quizzing. Now it's quizception because there are many layers. Yo, dog, I think you like quizzing. Yo, dog. 
This guy said, I bet, it was like Gentleman's Club drinking thing, and he says, I bet I can introduce a new word into the English language tomorrow. And they were like, bollocks, can you? Yeah, well, what he did, you know, you got, tomorrow's already a word. But what he did is he went and painted the word quiz, which didn't exist until that point, on mm. the wall, on walls and, like, everywhere, all yeah. over London, or he paid people, the paper was doing it for him, painted the word quiz everywhere, and everyone was like, well, what does this mean? What is it? And they were like, questioning it, like, what, what does this word mean? And then it, so it became... Okay. I was, I was That's hoping, how the word came about. I was hoping it was a miss here, and he was like, I'll get a word in the English language tomorrow, and they're like, bollocks. He goes, oh, I'll show you quiz. And, we'll <laughs> and then he's like, what did he say? I don't know. Well, it sounds pretty good. Let's use that. <laughs> I don't quite know what he said, so it should probably be a question. Yeah. Uh, quiz. There we go. <laughs> quiz. It's a question. <laughs> it, it was two sentences away from being faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to go and do the pub faggot this week. <laughs> Got a quick pop faggot for you? <laughs> what you want of them faggot shows? <laughs> Who, wants to... Who wants to be a faggot? <laughs> I lost two pounds on that faggot machine. Yeah. You ask me loads of questions. You're really faggoty, aren't you? <laughs> Fag- really faggotal. Faggotical. <laughs> Does that mean the pet name for, fa- uh, for fags would be Quiz? <laughs> yeah, Look at those bunch of quiz. <laughs> Stop being such pop, a quiz. I'm just smoking a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna have pop, a quiz. Pop faggot, hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful world we've created. <laughs> uh, up is down. Spiders are hairy. I don't know. What <laughs> East is down. Up is white. <laughs> Pegasus no, is I mean, down. The east is white. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were down moving. I'm moving to the east. <laughs> Not much more. East to Turkey. <laughs> For some meatballs. <laughs> oh. as, far, yeah, before, as far as that's so yeah, before we started recording, we looked up the de- definition of Turkish meatballs, and it's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't think basically, it's basically basically fried poo. Yeah, it's yeah. just fried poo, but you jizz up her ass of it, apparently. It's something, yeah, yeah, and then you fry it. It came back because we were talking. It, it, it had come up with it. Well, it was we were talking about weird foods we'd eaten, and I said I'd eaten a sheep's eyeball, and you went fucking. No, you said fucking I, Turkish people, and you heard fucking Turkish meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep's eyes, Turkish yeah. meatballs. <laughs> Which spawned from... Yeah, so what's the... So, 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 so yeah, we'll just finish well, up... It spawned well. from me having eaten a deep fried Mars bar yesterday. So yeah. trying one for the first and time. And it made us kind of get into the subject of what's the weirdest thing people have eaten. So yeah, uh, yeah. let's go around the room. <laughs> Probably <laughs> should say, let's start with Crouch. As a, apparently the gesture and look didn't do it. <laughs> he was looking the other way. Well, because he's the first person. He just froze the entire... <laughs> What? Medu- his, Medusa look- his Medusa's pet rock looking. <laughs> Have you played some Otaku Pony, like Lost in Time and Space? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a geek thing. Um, Who might it for you? I don't know. He's up there with Lost in It's probably that Mong Lee Chang grass jelly drink, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, that's probably weird. the weirdest thing quite, any of us have ever seen. I'm quite unadventurous, uh, yeah. adventurous even with uh, stuff like that. Yes. So I was always the guy that would like. I bet you couldn't eat this. So I, as, like, as a teenager, I'd eat a bit like wasp lollies. A and... VW Golf. <laughs> oh, I've been given those scorpion lollies, but I've never felt the need to actually eat it. I've just gone. It's that's a nice joke. The sugar. Present. It goes in the bin. <laughs> the sugar. <laughs> no, I mean this was. Sorry, people listening, that bought me that. So, uh, scorpion lollies couldn't get to that size. <laughs> <laughs> no, being a wasp, it basically what happens is the sugar. Um, permeates the wasp or the insect so much that it's basically just wasp coloured sugar and of course you could be in dinosaur DNA because fake science yeah exactly no we um, wouldn't we're <laughs> trying oh, was, sorry yeah sorry. yeah sheep's eyeball I've tried okay that was it was I think they're kind of boiled it was a bit gooey but it just tastes like the fat on the end of a piece of meat Okay. It was one. It, it was um, uh, it was a Turkish gathering. It's quite an old-fashioned family. My my family back in Cyprus. And as I had met a lot, of, as I <laughs> your goat say, um, I was <laughs> goat see. Don't be sheepish. Okay. Um, <laughs> because I had not met a lot of the family before. I was kind of like a guest of honour. And the the two like they they one of the sort of nice. This is the one who wrestled Jimmy Snooker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who this is? Yeah. Quick, you know he's fat. <laughs> Turkish meatballs. <laughs> we, will, we, will, we will do a quiz. Um, <laughs> I will break your back quiz, make you humble. The, the, the dinner was um, roasted sheep's head, um, and the eyes are boiled and then put back in the skull when they present it. Yeah. And it's like the, the there's only two food. eyes, obviously. Um, because I, meat was expensive, like there, even up to recently, meat was very expensive. Okay. So, like being given the eyes and the brain, and that was supposed to be like a oh, you know, welcome to the family, welcome to the table. Kalima. <laughs> <laughs> They put this monkey brain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They put they put the eye on my plate, and my dad was just like, 
that's a big thing, eat that. I was like, oh, that's okay, fine. A, that's how big are sheep's eyeballs? <laughs> I don't know my sciences when it comes to this stuff. Well, it, was, it was me, basketball size. me and the man of the house who had the two, so it was quite a big kind of thing to welcome me in as the new member that they hadn't met. And no, it, was, it just tasted like a Let bit of Let us bond over a sheep. <laughs> it just tasted Again. like a uh, rind or just okay. a, a bad piece of meat, but it didn't taste horrible. Fair enough, it's fine. It's just chewy. Uh, Eating anything unusual? Nothing anywhere near that. Probably the most interesting thing I can think of was um, my dad's friend was a gamekeeper. dad's friend? Did you say <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Where's, Spike, where's Terry? <laughs> um, don't look in the bag. <laughs> he trained a rock to turn people into stuff. <laughs> My dad's mate was a gamekeeper, and so we ate a pheasant that he killed that day. And his, My his, dad was a gamekeeper. We ate a copy of uh, Stadium Events on NES. <laughs> Act Razor 2. It was quite alarming. As I began to, it was like, first mouthful, and his, uh, his, his wife's like, yeah, I, I think I've got all the shot out of it. <laughs> but if you bite on anything hard, don't you know, persevere. Don't give bite it, right down. Yeah, don't bite down. right down. Or, or, or alternatively, give somebody a nod and they can shout, Eat lead! <laughs> and at least make it canonical. Who's the guy that did Games Master? The, the, the Patrick Moore. Patrick Moore. Patrick Moore was <laughs> <to> like, <laughs> he was a Games Master, so we ate Patrick Moore. <laughs> That's where he is now. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> it's helpful he's an astronomer yeah. <laughs> or an astrologer I can't remember I was astronomer. Astronomer. astronomer and now he's going to play this game that I have no fucking idea what it's about <laughs> never write something something <laughs> up that's quite down a good Patrick Moore <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was a good Patrick Moore that was quite yeah, a good, good Patrick Moore wasn't it yeah <laughs> well, yeah, get this jammy dodger but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go Blake. Blake, that's another joke that works perfectly on the radio you, there you go Blake you do an alright Patrick Moore fame beckons <laughs> What an audience. Yeah. Now, now screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my own show. Get them to a Patrick now. Moore cast. Yeah. Yeah. I am the real Patrick A14. Moore. <laughs> At Patrick McRorrington. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, now he's dead. Yeah. People are going to want more. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Wow. No pun intended. Pun. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can we change it just when you tell a joke now? You just go, you'd be like, um, oh, this paper is terrible. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't, that, isn't that basically the physical manifestation of Blake's allergy to puns yeah. that we were talking about in the previous episode where it's just like yes I don't really understand <laughs> well, nope <laughs> I'm out well you know how the old saying goes nope <laughs> I was just going to say you know how the old saying goes I'll just leave it there <laughs> you're no, hard at the end of the episode <laughs> <laughs> we can <hit> stop <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the next episode. <laughs> you know the old saying, that was my iPod. So what's, what's that ancient uh, American Indian saying? That's it. Subscribe to us on iTunes. It is tremendously difficult to send this podcast out via smoke signals. But we'll, do it then. <laughs> we better, we'll give it a good go. <laughs> but um, I think on that note I'll probably wind it up here so um, if you've enjoyed the show subscribe to us on iTunes share it with your friends rate and review us you can find us on uh, the web at www.emotionally14.com that's the digits not the letters uh, for 14 not emotionally <laughs> sorry clear um, really. yeah <laughs> alright <laughs> mate you can fucking set it up next time <laughs> You can spell with letters. Yeah, I know. You right? can read, you can read. You can... <laughs> Magic <laughs> E! <laughs> Backwards E! I see some shit. <laughs> B with, with no spell. Round and flick! <laughs> <laughs> Magic pencil! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it Not like that? <laughs> Shatner! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> so, we're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash emotionally14. You can also just find us by searching emotionally14 on Facebook. So you can find us on Twitter at emotionally fourteen. I'm at Rob Wade Vision. Uh, so Blake's not on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you can find Blake. No, wait, you can pump. No, no. <laughs> I'm in Denver. <laughs> if you want more of Blake, <laughs> if you want Patrick Moore, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, at Patrick Moore is where you find Blake. If you want sure, more why not? Blake, okay. don't look him up on Facebook. He won't add you. No, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so you can find us on Twitter at emotionally fourteen. I'm at Rob Wade Vision. Blake's not on Twitter. Spike Directions at Big Beat 1985. Omer is at the Iron Turk Omer. Sal Crouch is at Grost. Well, you know how the old saying goes. <laughs> <laughs>